You can pick up a UNI-T UT139C for around $35 delivered from eBay. The display doesn't have an analog bar graph, but compensates for it by updating at a decent rate. The display also has a backlight, although it's hard to see unless in extremely low light. It does the job, but can be annoying as it turns off after around 15 seconds. The rotary switch feels decent. It's a bit spongy compared to my $10 rebadged UNI-T UT33, but it's hard to get stuck between values. Auto ranging isn't going to win any races, but it works fine in my experience. I tested the meter with a voltage, current and resistance tester I built in a previous video, which you can check out here. Voltage, current and resistance all seem to be well within the specifications of the meter and the accuracy of my tester. I don't have any precision capacitors, so I can't test the accuracy of the capacitance range, but it seems to work as expected. The continuity tester is latching and very fast, although sometimes it misses very short pulses. The diode tester puts out around 3.25 volts, which is enough to light blue and white LEDs. Non-contact voltage works well, although I've noticed it sometimes gets confused with static on clothes. The meter supports an external current clamp to measure up to 60 amps. It can measure frequency up to 10 MHz and has min, max and relative modes. The included probes aren't very sharp and the leads are not very flexible, but they're what you'd expect at this price range. It includes a fairly cheap feeling K-type thermocouple, but the temperature range has only 1 degree Celsius resolution. The build quality is excellent for a meter at this price range. It feels very sturdy, the binding posts are solid and have strain relief, and the holster is removable. It has a solid tilting bale that can be removed to give access to the two AA batteries, which should give it a decent battery life. The current range fuse is also directly accessible from this compartment. The input protection looks decent so the meter should be fine for main stuff unless you do something stupid. Overall, it's a great meter for the price, with no obvious places they've cut corners. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you want to be notified about more stuff like this. It would really help me out a lot.